Hi, I'm Anastasia from KindEarth.net, a space for delicious plant-based and gluten-free recipes. It's also got a lot of articles to inspire the soul for personal growth and health on there too, so be sure to go check that out. But today in my kitchen, I'm going to show you how I make my parsnip and potato farinata slice. So let's go and see exactly how I make it. So if you've not heard of farinata before, it's a sort of traditional Italian chickpea slice made with chickpea flour. The flour is also called garbanzo bean flour or gram flour. I have took the original recipe and I just allowed it to dance with me and then I came up with an absolutely delicious alternative where I've got these gently roasted parsnips and little small amount of potatoes just mixed in with that slice just to bring it to a whole new level of deliciousness. So what I did was I took two parsnips and if they're not organic you can peel them then you want to chop them into tiny little cubes as small as you can get really and then pop them in the tray and then do the same with a very small potato as well. And then what you want to do is add some salt, some ground coriander, add some cumin seeds and a nice dash of olive oil and then mix it all together nicely with your hands until the whole thing is evenly coated. And then you want to pop it in the oven for about 25 minutes on a high temperature and then just let them roast and because they're really small they'll roast quite quickly and then just take them out put them on the side to cool so I tend to do that part while I'm getting other things ready in the kitchen maybe something to go with it so I'm not just sitting there twiddling my thumbs while that's waiting there's always something else that you can be getting on with at the same time all right so once that's done you can make the other part. So what I've got is 150 grams of chickpea flour, garbanzo bean flour or gram flour. That is about one cup approximately. A little bit of sea salt and a tablespoon of onion powder as well. The onion powder does give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi. And then I'm going to make sure that I use the back of a spoon just to press any lumps out and then I want to measure 150 millilitres of Passata. If you haven't got Passata, which is basically crushed and sieved tomatoes, just get a tin of canned tomatoes and blend them up and use that instead, that will work fine. I've got 150 millilitres of water and 150 millilitres of Passata, just give it a quick mix in and then I want to scrape all of this in and then I'm going to pour this in and then mix it in nice and thoroughly. So it's actually quite simple, we're using quite simple ingredients for this. And I just want to mix it until everything is nice and evenly mixed together. And I want to make sure I've popped the oven on already. So I'm heating that to 200 degrees Celsius, which is gas mark six, or about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I want to do next is get an oven proof dish and then line it with parchment paper, or baking paper. Get on bleached if you can. Environmentally friendly stuff is always better for us and it's better for the planet. And then you want to take your mixture and pop it in. And then just flatten it down so it spreads nice and evenly. That is it. So it's really easy. All you need is a few simple ingredients. And if you've got those in, you are good to go. So let's pop this in the oven. So I'm going to leave that on the middle shelf for about 25 minutes. 
Okay, so it's been a good 25 minutes, so let's go see how it's doing. All right. So what you want to do is pop it onto a nice chopping board. So you want to cut it into nice little triangles or something like that. And then you can actually eat it hot or cold. It makes an excellent lunchbox snack. It works well as part of a main meal. It works really well as travel food, something really filling and substantial and full of so much goodness. So what I am going to do is have a little taste test. And it's actually really hot at the moment. So let's see what it's like. Okay. Mmm. 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 Yeah. That's really good. So, thank you for tuning in. Please do come and check out my website, kindearth.net. And if you like what you see here, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Come subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.